Hello friends, welcome back to Muleless Academy. In today's session, we are going to talk about AnyPoint Code Builder beta version, which is the new ID provided by MuleSoft on AnyPoint platform. This ID comes in two versions. Right now they have launched only web-based. The desktop version will be coming soon. To prerequisite to get this option over here, we need to create new fresh trial account. So I have created new fresh trial account and I could see this option over here, okay? Now, before getting started, I'll recommend everyone or encourage, please go ahead and subscribe the channel, hit the like button, hit the bell icon so that you'll get notification for our upcoming videos. In this session, we'll give the introduction about the AnyPoint code builder, okay? So we'll try to uh, write a simple API specification as a hello world specification, we'll run it and we'll come up with more sessions on this AnyPoint code builder. So we'll build applications, we'll uh, try to deploy the applications from AnyPoint code builder to our AnyPoint platform cloud hub, okay? So keep watching, keep eye on notifications, okay? So you can see the option over here as well as you can go ahead and see the option over here, code builder beta, okay? So first uh, thing, you will get any point code builder option here as well. And we have any point studio also. So this is still desktop ID. You can go ahead and use it. But today we, in this session, we'll explore any point code builder. Okay. Let's get started. So you can see here, you'll get a pop-up. Okay. Say that get access to any point code builder. So that means your organization doesn't have, you know, permission to use uh, this code builder so we'll take that we'll get we'll take that um, access but caution is you should not use this beta version for your any production activities or on production runtime okay so let's go ahead read all this so this is unified pilot research agreement so go ahead read everything i encourage everyone to please read it i gone through it once now for this session i am just you know skipping quickly so you'll get this i accept option enabled okay don't skip anything please go ahead and read all the ag agreement terms and conditions and then only you should uh, say i accept and get access go ahead now you'll find here see this right you have access now okay now if you look at this page as I mentioned, right, the desktop ID, the, you know, version of this code builder, it's coming soon. We'll launch this one, but before going, uh, before launching this web ID, you'll see you can design, you can implement, you can integrate, you can deploy, okay? All those things you can do it at one screen, okay? Now they have given a proper tutorial, so you can go ahead here and get the user guide from here, okay? We'll be following this guide from here itself. This is a beta release. You can see that you can write a specification. You can test your specification by using mocking service. You can synchronize with design center. I'll show you once I create any project in, in ID, it will automatically sync with our design center. We can publish it from, from here. We can do the basic integration. You can see here, we can implement it and we can uh, deploy, we can debug, we can run, add breakpoints, whatever features we see in any point studio, all features are available over here. Okay. Let's get started. Okay. So if you go here, let's launch it. So once you, once you launch it, right, make sure that your browser is not stopping any pop-up. So now when you're using it, if you see any discrepancies or any issues, Go ahead on the GitHub page and you know report those issues. So it's it's preparing my AnyPoint code builder. Let's wait for that. Oh, let me take a pause for some some time here. So it's, it's the code builder is starting up now. So you can see that the code builder is deployed on different servers. So it will try to log into your code builder from your AnyPoint platform, 
Okay, that pop up also will come. So let's wait for some time. So now you can see this welcome page over here. So I'll close this. Here I can select my theme. So I'll go with my dark theme. So let's select it. And you can see the down, it's extracting mule runtime. It will install the mule runtime and it will ask me to reload. Okay, so let's wait for that. Meanwhile, you can see the left hand side, we are getting any point code builder option over here, right? And then we have option design an API, implement an API, develop an integration, all these things. So now you can see this, right? So it's asking me to, you know, reload. Okay, so let's reload. Okay, it's reloading. Okay, now here we can see the extensions. Right, so let me let me drag here. So we have extension for AP, we have AP extension, AP kit extension, data view, integration, mule runtime, and platform. All things are added, right? You can see this. Okay. Now let's go to our uh, first thing. So let me see here. Let's go to our builder option, design and API. So I'll keep open my AnyPoint platform also. Okay, so right now if I go to my design center, this, this design center API project is completely empty. There is no project right now here. Okay, so we'll go here. So we are saying design an API, I'll give a name. So let's say, hello world API. Okay, so I'll select the, so it's giving me the home directory where all my configurations, my scripts will be there. I'll say, okay. Now all the language options available, whatever options are available so far on any point platform, which is RAML as well as OS. So I'll select RAML 1.0 and say create project. The moment I say create project, see saying that it's want to sign in because what it will do, this code builder will try to create and sync your code builder with your design center. Okay. So if I say allow, if I say, see the external website is trying to access our any point platform. Logging to any point platform and close this. Okay, we don't need that now. Let's go to our design center. And if I say refresh, see here, you are able to see the project now. So our code builder and any point platform design center are sync. Okay, so let's go ahead and so yes, trust this. Okay. Let's go ahead and start it on design center. You'll see there will be a root tag associated with this file, but right now here we won't see. Okay. So I'll go ahead and I'll try to have a simple uh, specification. So let's say hello. Okay. Now, if you want to see the more options, right? So try to give control and space bar. You'll be able to see options over here. Okay. So let me go down. Now let's say, let me select the method. And now if I say, okay, so I'll go to next line and see now we are able to see these options. Okay. And if you see the down, your applications running on port 9191 is available. Okay. So I'll show you this once the mocking service is available. So this is our get. And you can go ahead and you can add, see here now we have options to select query parameters. So if you go ahead and select query parameter, keep on using, uh, you know, uh, control plus space bar. Now we don't have here, uh, you know, uh, the shelf, which we get it in the design center. Okay. But we have option to use control plus space bar to get more options. Okay. So I'll just give a name 
you know, uh, I'll just say I'll pass a message as a query parameter here. And I'll just say, yeah, that's it. Okay, so by default, it will be a string and required is equal to true. So that's one thing. And you can go here and say, if I want post method, I'll go ahead. So in coming sessions, we are going to write complete API specification. Just now, I just wanted to give a simple, uh, you know, um, uh, skeleton of a specification. Let's go ahead and test it. So you'll find API console over here in the right corner. I saw that. So now see, you have hello as an endpoint. Okay, a title. And if you go and say get method, your your uh, message is a required parameter. See here. Okay, and say try it. Okay, so now pass. Hmm. Just just for fun, I'm passing some some message. Okay, welcome to any point code builder demo session. Okay, and finally you can say send you'll be able to see 200 okay. Okay, so we are not printing right now anything. I'm just printing or we can go ahead and say, you know, a query parameter, you can just go ahead and, you know, say control space, responses, 200, body, Application JSON, example, and you just can type message here. Query parameter, we can something, some query parameter we give you. And here message, and just say, welcome to any point platform, okay? Now, if I so automatically save it, if I say get now and so try it, pass some value here. Okay, and so send. You can see here proper message. Okay, in coming sessions, we'll we are going to have a, a specification, complete specification, and then we'll implement it and then we'll deploy it from at the any point code builder that's all from this session thank you for watching hope you liked it bye bye